All right, traders, George here, and time to continue on with some of your questions. A lot of interest in oil and whether we've hit a bottom or not and where that might come in, what it might look like. So here's the next view I want to share with you of oil. Now, this is the February contract just going back 40 days. So this is very representative of real trading commitments made in the uh, oil futures markets here. And what we've just seen uh, as we're at 47.52s right now is that this mid 48 level here is holding as resistance. We had a good break above it, faded below. Now we've got resistance there. So it's putting a lot of pressure on the bulls to get things going. If the bulls can get it back over 48.65s and then to 49.34s, which is the top here, that's what's going to be the first clue that we've got an end of move going. Uh, you could make a case for saying here's a shoulder and a head and a shoulder and it's an inverted head and shoulder bottom, but it really doesn't matter until the traders are trading over this level right here. That's why the balance beams are so important. That's where everything's going on. Now, if the traders can stay over this level here, huge air pocket that could see price moving up to these next key levels that I've highlighted. Uh, 57 is the top line of this very heavy balance beam zone here, and that's got to be looked at as immense overhead resistance, but also the potential for a huge catalyst to upside if, if the bulls are able to get it there. These would be the key players on the way up, and really the, the highlights of of this grid here would be this spike at 53.59, this floor here at 55.25, right? And then 49.34 is being the top end here for the most conservative view of strength. I'm going more aggressive with 48.65s, the spike here. But right now, the bulls are nowhere to be seen. And with price over, the, or I should say under this threshold here, it gives the bears license to drive price down to about 46.44s for starters. So, you know, almost another buck lower and um, they start to attempt to find support there. Below the floor here at 44.66s, we barely have any trading commitment at all, and it will very likely open the door to uh, lower targets altogether. So this is a really uh, tender spot for oil to be in here. Uh, it's imperative that the bulls get price over 48.65s ASAP, and if we see that in the markets in the morning for the next couple of days here, we're likely going to see a huge pop to the upside when that happens. So where oil is right now, for me to say that we're at an end of move and this is the bottom, I'm not going to say that yet, but I'm going to say as soon as the bulls get it over 48.65, that's going to be the green light for them to go. Whether they go or not, that's up to them. But that's something we'll be poised for in the live room. And if we drive lower to new lows altogether, we'll just reset the whole process. A couple ways to play this to the upside would be out of the money calls in the OIH, Oil Holder Service Index, as well as any options that you use on your futures contracts, which is a great way to play this upside as well. In the money calls obviously work as well, but they're going to be at, at a higher premium. Just a couple other angles to play here. That's the, the uh, dominator right there, gang. 48.65s. Right now, the bears are in charge with price pulling below it and just a couple cents lower here we're probably going to see a 90 cent haircut getting into the uh, lower 46s snapbacks through 4865s are going to see a big pop north just like the, they did the last two times here and we'll be ready for that in the live room we'll see you back there starting tomorrow